Hey, and welcome to a basic tutorial on how to use Procreate for the iPad. So I'll be covering the very basics on how to use the program. I'll, with this tutorial, you should be able to make a drawing, Procreate, make a file, and just export the drawing and get something done. I will, if this tutorial gets traction, I will make more in-depth tutorials on how to use very specific features of Procreate that allows you to make even more cool content. But let's just get into it. First of all, let's open up Procreate. It should open up in a gallery. And here is where all your art will be. You'll be able to open up and draw I mean, and check out all the artwork you have done. There's, on the top right, there's a plus symbol, and here's how you'll be able to create a new file. Um, you will have multiple options, such as screen size, square, 4K. This is just um, the canvas settings, the width, the height, the DPI, and... Well, depending on how big your canvas is, you'll have a specific quantity of layers that you should be able to use. In my case, I'm just gonna go with screen size, which is the basic thing, like the most basic one, which is good quality enough to work. So, so I just tap on screen size and boom, we have a file. I'm gonna start by, I'm gonna start with the brushes on the top right you should be able to see a brush symbol right here you can see all your brushes i have a i have quite a few that i have imported from photoshop if you want to know how to do that well i don't know just let me know i'll make a tutorial but i'm just gonna use the basics uh the sketching there's pencils which you can use to well, sketch and there's a lot of brushes, my advice is just try them all, see the ones that you like, and if you and just make a, a group with the ones you like, just hold them and just put them in a, in a group. That way you have like a group with brushes you like. For example, I have my painting set for painting brushes. I have my inking set for line art and all that. I have sketching, texture, coloring, etc. So that's brushes, that's basically it. If you guys want to know how to make a brush, let me know, I can also make a tutorial on that. Um, next, smudge tool. So let's add some blobs of ink. The smudge tool is this little finger. You can set it to any brush, like if you set it to this one, it's gonna have like the texture of that brush when you smudge it. And you can also set it to, well, I have it to my airbrush, that way it has like a really soft edge. And it just matches, the name says it. But it's good to know the fact that you can add different textures to have different effects. Like, let's say, flat brush, and you can... Yes, yeah, it kind of it kind of gives me like mixing paint. Like, I'm pretty sure you can mix colors using that. Yeah. You see, so that's that's the smudge tool. Um, same with the eraser. With the eraser, you're able to use any kind of shape you want and texture for your erasing. If I add a blob of paint and I add, let's choose a soft eraser, then it erases with a soft texture, or this one, etc. Pretty straightforward. Now, let's get to layers. Um, this is your layer step, these two squares. With layers, you... Um, well, if you don't know basics of digital drawing, I'm not gonna explain it in detail, but if you guys want that, I'll do it. But layers are just basically transparent sheets that are on top of each other. So if you make a new layer, um, should use a different color. And this one is gonna be on top of this one because it's on top um it's just transparent sheets that's how i like to imagine it with procreate you're able to 
choose like if you press this M button here, which stands for normal mode, you will have all of these options and you can choose the opacity of the layer and the layer modes like well, multiply overlay if you know what you're doing you'll know what these are but it's okay if you don't they're not necessary i can also make a tutorial on that maybe um that's how you get your layer modes if any one of you like want to have your cover dodge and all that right then we have something called a reference layer so in other programs you're able to like color fill things using like multiple referencing he procreate is it's done like this so you have a, a layer you want to fill right so let's make a circle that's not a circle also quick tip if you hold it's gonna make a circle and if you tap with one finger it's gonna make a perfect circle for you so if i make a new layer and i want to fill this it's i'm just gonna oh this is how you feel by the way you drag the color and bleh, it not, it's not gonna work we want procreate to know to reference make this the reference make this the like the, the lines you have to type on the name and it's and choose reference right that way you're able to bloop and it's gonna know this is the boundaries that it should respect there's also alpha lock, which makes it so. So if you draw outside, like it, you can only draw inside of the of the shape that it's locked. Alpha means transparency, but you're basically locking the transparent pixels out of the out of procre out of the out of what you can color or not. And then merging layers. To, to do this, you have to just pin, like grab two layers with your fingers like this, and just pinch them to pinch them together, like pinch gesture. And now you have only one layer. If you if you move it to the right, you have duplicate clear and all that. Can I clear it because I don't want it now? And the alpha locket. Quick tip: if you use two fingers and you move it to the right, it's gonna alpha lock it for you. Uh, I can do it because there's nothing in the layer, but if I do this... Uh, never mind, it seems that it's... Oh, there it is. You need more than one layer. <laughs> so you just move it to the right with two fingers and it works. Cool. Um, so there's that. Now, the color wheel. You can also drag uh, windows outside of and just make them float. For color wheel, we have different things we can use. Um, palettes, where you have different palettes, color palettes that you can set up. Um, values, so if you want a very specific color using RGB values or hexadecimal. Uh, color, color harmony, uh, harmonies. You can choose like stuff like triadic, triadic, analogs, whatever, and it's gonna make you a color harmony that goes with that. Uh, the square, which is my favorite, I'm just used to Photoshop, I guess. And then the circle, or the disc, color disc. There's colors, then we have gestures. If with if you use two fingers, you can zoom in and zoom out and just move the whole canvas however you want, using two fingers. And the other one that's very important is if you tap with two fingers is gonna undo your change cool let's make a circle remember you can hold and then just tap then you can color fill it and there's symbols more symbols up here right let's let me actually change the colors to something that's more visible there you go so those symbols, let's start with the arrow over here, with the one up here. That one, it's the transformation tool. You're able to, it's gonna, it's gonna select everything on the layer and you're able to transform it, like squish it, enlarge it, move it, flip it, rotate it, whatever you want, right? That's 
that's its use, right? Um, you can set it to freeform. That way, it's not gonna have like any limits. Uniform. That means it's gonna stay on that on that scale. Distortion, which kind of like gives gives it perspective, I guess. And warp, which is like whatever this is. <laughs> um. You also can have snapping if you like that. That way you can stay on the center of the canvas and stuff like that. And you can use your finger, your fingers as well if you don't have an Apple Pencil. Cool. That's the transform tool. And then the, this one over here is a selection tool. You'll have automatic, which is just like the magic wand. It selects everything outside. You have the free hand, which is just the lasso tool. And then let me just go down see that rectangle and the lips. Pro tip if you use a magic wand and you select and hold, you can move it to the right to have a bigger threshold. That way, you can avoid like those white lines. Like, if I select again, I can move it to the right. You'll see how it's gonna feel those because the threshold is bigger. That also works with the fill tool. So if I take this and I hold it, don't drop it. I can, you see how there's like red lines? If I move it to the right, it's gonna increase the threshold a lot and it gets rid of the red lines. Um, okay, so let's say you, make a, you made a masterpiece now. You use your layers, you use brushes and everything. To export your drawing, it's as easy as going to share, like press this tool option, go to share, and you should want to share it as a PNG or G JPEG, whatever you prefer, or PSD or whatever. I'm gonna share it as a PNG and just save image. And there you go. You now know how to use Procreate.